Without training, they lack knowledge. Without knowledge, they lack confidence. And without confidence, they lacked victory. Men, in general, are quick to believe that which they wish to be true. A coward dies a thousand deaths. The gallant never tastes death but once. The greatest enemy will hide in the last place you would ever look. It is the custom of the immortal gods to grant temporary prosperity and a fairly long period of impunity to those whom they plan to punish for their crimes, so that they may feel it all the more keenly as a result of the change in their fortunes. I came. I saw, I conquered. Many of you wished me dead. Many of you perhaps still do. But I hold no grudges and seek no revenge. I demand only this, that you join with me in building a new Rome. A Rome that offers justice, peace and land to all its citizens, not just the privileged few. Support me in this task, and old divisions will be forgotten. Oppose me and Rome will not forgive you a second time. To win by strategy is no less the role of a general than to win by arms. If you must break the law, do it to seize power. In all other cases, observe it. And when the drums of war have reached a fever pitch, when the blood boils with hate and the mind is closed, the leader will have no need in seizing the rights of the citizenry. Rather, the citizenry infused with fear and blinded by patriotism will offer up all of their rights unto the leader and do it gladly so. Experience is the teacher of all things As a rule, what is out of sight disturbs men's minds more seriously than what they see. Let me have men about me that are fat, sleek-headed men, and such as sleep all night. Yon Cassius has a lean and hungry look. He thinks too much. Such men are dangerous. If I fail, it is only because I have too much pride and ambition. It is better to create than to learn. Creating is the essence of life. The difference between a republic and an empire is the loyalty of one's army. All bad precedents begin as justifiable measures. It is easier to find men who will volunteer to die than to find those who are willing to endure pain with patience. Set honor in one eye and death in the other and I will look on both indifferently. I love the name of honor more than I fear death. What we wish, we readily believe, and what we ourselves think, we imagine others think also. He conquers twice who shows mercy to the conquered. I love treason, but hate a traitor. No one is so brave that he is not disturbed by something unexpected. It is not these well-fed, long-haired men that I fear, but the pale and the hungry-looking ones are the most dangerous. Men worry more about what they can't see than about what they can. Wine and other luxuries have a tendency to enervate the mind and make men less brave in battle. No music is so charming to my ear as the requests of my friends and the supplications of those in want of my assistance. 
in extreme danger. Fear feels no pity. As a result of a general defect of nature, we are either more confident or more fearful of unusual and unknown things. Fortune, which has a great deal of power in other matters, but especially in war, can bring about great changes in the situation through very slight forces. I would rather be the first man in a barbarian village than the second man in Rome. I believe that the members of my family must be as free from suspicion as from actual crime. Go on, my friend, and fear nothing. You carry Caesar and his fortune in your boat. War gives the right to the conquerors to impose any condition they please upon the vanquished. Always remember, if you can be anything in life, be a stoic. Support with a like and subscribe for more stoic empowerment.